This is Co Free with Robin Hood's Playground. Today I'm going to make a video real quick using the new iPrep 8.6. First thing you need to do is get your iExtreme 1.5 firmware, get the new iPrep 8.6, get that on your computer. Once you get it opened up, you need to load in your firmware. You need to load in all three firmwares. So get your Samsung firmware loaded, your BenQ, and the light on. Once that's done, make sure your VIA chipset is selected. This 8.6 will do this even for the light on with the VIA chipset. Make sure your target drive is correct. Mine's G. Put a check in format and include batch files and click start. While that's making that flash, I want to offer a thanks to Commodore Forever, Caster, Kloosh, and everybody else involved in making this all possible. Once that's done, you want to power down and boot off of the flash drive. Once you get to here, go on and hook your 360 up, your drive up, and get it powered on. I'm using a connectivity kit Pro. I'll be using that for all three, the Samsung, the BenQ, and the Light On. Once you get to here, it's pretty much straightforward. Just do what it says on the screen. Type in DSAM. We're wanting to read the drive. DSAM and your serial number. I'm just using one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Hit enter. It's telling you make sure you read all that. We're going to resend the MTK. We're going to hit R for read. And we need to name our file SAM dash OFW dot bin. Once we get to this point, it's asking us we will resend, so we'll hit Y, and our six port is our 28 drive. Now, when we go to flash it, it will not specifically list this. You'll need to make sure to remember what port number is your drive. I know mine's going to be six. So at this point, we power down the drive, hit Y, and enter, power the drive on. Now it's asking us for our drive letter or number, which is six. Asking us what we want to do. We're wanting to read, which is R. We need to enter the file name, which is Sam dash OFW dot bin. And it'll read the drive. After it gets done reading, it'll take a second and firm tool will get started. You need to wait for that to start. This is a flash and it's still taking a few seconds. If you were running this on a floppy drive, it would take a lot longer for that to start. Once you've got this information and we've got a success and your key looks good, then you should be good to go on and flash. I'm sure after um, firmware toolbox does an update it'll load the 1.5 firmwares and stuff but it would be a good point to restart windows and just double check and make sure your keys good 
I know the key is good in this one, so I'm going to go on and go to the flash. So to flash, we type in FSAM in our serial number. The same information, except this time we're going to use W for write. You'll notice on the port 6, which I know is my port, it does not specifically list my V28 anymore. Now we're resending MTK. We want to power off the drive. Hit Y, enter. Power the drive on. Now it's asking us for our drive port, which I know is 6. Enter. Now we want to W for write. Enter the firmware name, which should be Sam CFW.bin. It's erasing the drive, and then it'll go through and write the four banks. And after that's done, that's pretty much it. Put it back in the 360 and test it out. Should be good to go. Once you're back to the C prompt, you're done.